Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about how to work with the radio buttons in Selenium with Python. So working with checkboxes we have already covered in the previous tutorial. Go through and watch it. And now let's discuss about the radio buttons and some of the properties of the radio buttons, right? So on the same Sugar CRM page, there are two radio buttons, right? So let me cover this on this Sugar CRM website. So if you just right click and inspect, let's see what are the properties for the radio button. So here you can see the tag is input and the type of the radio button is radio, right? As we have seen for the type of the checkboxes was checkbox for the radio, it is the radio button. And that's how the checkboxes and radio buttons are being differentiated with the type attribute of that particular web element. Now, the property of the radio button is that you can only select one. Like in the checkboxes, I can select multiple checkboxes or just some of it. But in the radio button, if you select the other one, the other one get deselected, right? So only one of the radio button can be selected at one particular time. In terms of Selenium or handling the radio buttons with Selenium, it is absolutely simple process. Same thing, you just have to identify the locator for this radio button, okay? And then use the click method to click to select the radio button, right? So as we are doing it manually, we are simply going to that particular radio button, uh, pointing our mouse pointer there and click on and clicking with the uh, with our mouse, right? So similarly for our script, the script has to identify where that mouse needs to go basically on this DOM in this particular page and then click it. So how we can do it, we can simply right click, click on inspect and then we'll open selectors hub and you can see that it has selected or the relative X path is there, ID is there, so ID we can use, right? So we can use ID of this particular web element and then click on that. So let me go to PyCharm quickly and I'll copy the same code that we used for the checkboxes and let me create a new Python file and I will name it as demo radio buttons, all right? Let me paste everything here and I will change the class name as demo radio and then here I will say demo radio button. Okay, so the method name is demo radio button. Let me remove everything to this point. Okay, so now we are opening this request demo page on the sugar CRM page and then we need to basically click on this radio button. Okay. So by default, if you see that you load this page, none of the radio buttons are selected. Okay. So if we click on one, then that will get selected. So let me inspect the locator. So there is an ID. So I'll use the ID for that locator. I'll go to PyCharm and in order to click on that particular radio button, I'll simply say driver.findElement by ID and then provide the ID there. Okay, and after providing the ID, I can simply say dot and then click, right? So this is identifying where we need to click. So this is the locator of that particular radio button and then click method will click on that particular radio button. Okay, so after clicking, let me put some sleep there. Okay, so I'll say time dot sleep and let's put a four second sleep so that we can see that the click has happened. Okay. And prior to clicking, let me put a sleep as well so that you can basically see that initially it is unchecked or not selected and then it has clicked on that particular radio button. So now let me create a object of this class. So we'll say, I'll simply say radio uh, demo, create a variable to hold the reference of the object. So to create an object of this class, I'll simply say demo radio followed by parenthesis and we'll call this method, right? So we'll say simply say with this particular variable, we'll say dot and we'll say dot demo uh, radio underscore button. Okay, now let me run this and it should launch the Chrome browser will maximize the page. Let me scroll a little bit so that we are on the radio section and you can see it has selected the radio button, right? And closed the window. Okay. So that's how you will basically handle the radio button. The other important thing is, say for example, I want to select the second radio button. Okay. After four seconds, I want to click on this. I am not interested. So I'll inspect that 
and let me check it again click on it and the id for this particular radio button is doi1 okay so let's say for example i want to after four seconds i want to click on the second radio button so i'll simply say by id and then change it to doi1 and then sleep for four seconds okay so let's see that First, it clicks on DOI1, uh, DOI0, and then DOI1, basically. So what these IDs represent is it, the DOI0 represents this, please add me to the marketing communication, and DOI1 ID is the second radio button. Okay, so let me run it and see this. It will open the browser, maximize it, and let me scroll it. You'll see that it will select the first one, right? We'll wait for four seconds and then selected the second one and then close the window, right? So that's how you will be handling the radio button. Pretty simple, nothing complex. Just identify the locator for the web element that is for the radio button and use the click method to click on the radio button. Other important function is is selected. Okay, so say for example, in your test case, you are trying to verify whether the radio button is selected or not. So Python, Selenium Python has the method is selected, which we can use to verify whether the radio button has been selected or not. Okay, so now say for example, after prior to selecting, prior to clicking on the first radio button, we want to verify whether the web element is selected or not so what we'll do is we'll say find that particular radio bu button and then we'll say is dot is selected so what this is selected method will return it return is it will return a boolean value of true or false so if the radio, radio button is selected it will return true if it is not selected it will return false so when the website is launched in that instance none of the radio buttons are selected so this statement should return false and if we print it so let me print it directly just okay so let me print it directly here and because the this whole thing will return true or false so i can directly print it on the console okay so this statement here will return false and it should return uh, it should print false on the console now after clicking let's see whether what it returns right so after clicking on this first one it should return true in this case then in the second case if we print this doi1 here or say doi0 right so let's say what happens after we click on doi1 let's see what will be the is selected return for doi0 and doi1 okay so now here, if you see in the first case, it should return false because at the time of, if I load this particular page, right? So none of the radio buttons are selected. Okay. So the first line here, if you see is selected will return false. Then I'm clicking on the first radio button and then checking whether the first radio button is selected. So this line here will return true. Then I'm selecting the second radio button by this DOI one. And then again, checking whether DOI 0 is selected and DOI 1 is selected. Now, because I have selected DOI 1 here, so this will again return false and DOI 1 will return true. Okay, so let me run this and see that everything is working as expected. So it will open the demo page. Let me scroll down and we'll wait for four seconds. Selected the first radio button another four seconds selected second radio button and then close the window right so here you can see that as we discussed that in the first case it has returned false right so this one has written false because the page loaded and at, with the page load none of the radio buttons were selected so when i'm checking dui zero it's returned false then the second one it selected the first radio button and it returned true in the third case second radio button was selected so first got deselected and that is why it has written false and second was selected and it has returned true okay so this is how you will basically handle the radio buttons and use the is selected method to verify whether a particular radio button is selected or not okay so i have been manually scrolling this page uh, if you notice on in the checkboxes and the radio button example but don't worry i'll be explaining you about the scroll function how you can basically say for example you want to make or make the element visible by scrolling down uh, 
in, so that it is visible on the screen then the scroll method and scroll functions will also be covered in upcoming tutorial now in just to show you that it is actually selecting the radio button and checkboxes i have been just manually a little bit scrolling it just to show you the functionality of radio button and checkboxes but everything in selenium can be done programming uh, through the program uh, and through the code and through functions and methods that are available in selenium python library okay so that's all for this particular tutorial on how you will be able to handle the radio buttons and how to use the is selected method to verify whether the radio buttons are selected or not so i hope this was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching